Today's color review is Sherwin Williams Repose Gray versus Benjamin Moore Gray Owl. And I'm going to talk about the differences of these two paint colors. I'm going to show you what they look like in both the north and south facing rooms and why neither one of these paint colors may not be the right one for your home. So let's go. So what's the difference between these two gray paint colors? Let's find out by comparing them against one another. It may surprise you. So I'm gonna grab Repose Gray and we're gonna compare it with Benjamin Moore Gray Owl. Now watch what happens. Repose Gray is darker than Gray Owl and Gray Owl is lighter than Repose Gray. Also, Repose Gray has more violet undertones compared to Gray Owl. However, they both have one thing in common. They have blue undertones. So it's one thing to talk about blue undertones Next, we need to talk about lighting. I've been doing color consultations for a long time and I've been to hundreds of homes. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because I want everyone out there that's watching this right now to know the reason why I never talk about LRVs, by the way, that means light reflective value, is because it's almost pointless. However, when it comes from a scientific and engineering standpoint, it does have its place. So instead, the focus needs to be on the following. Is the color cooler or warmer? Is it lighter or darker? Is it dirty or is it muted? And knowing how to work with the different undertones that you may have in both your fixed and furnished items that you have in your home is the key to getting it right. So having said that, I'm going to show you what Gray Owl and Repose Gray looks like in both the north and south facing rooms. This is what Repose Gray and Gray Owl look like in a south facing room or any room that receives a lot of natural lighting. Notice how Repose Gray has a little bit more depth to it. And both of these paint colors do have a blue undertone and they're pretty similar when you compare them next to each other. However, when you put these two paint colors in a north facing room or any room that doesn't receive a lot of natural lighting, notice how Repose Gray is a little bit darker and the violet undertones are a little bit more pronounced compared to Gray Owl. Next, I'm going to give you three valuable tips on why neither one of these paint colors may not be the right one for your home. By the way, if you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. I give you valuable information like you're seeing right here in this video. All right, let's get back to it. Tip number one, Repose Gray and Gray Owl excel in a south facing room. However, if you're thinking about painting these colors in a north facing room or any room that doesn't receive a lot of natural lighting, especially hallways, or in rooms that get a lot of shadows, I would be very careful about painting these colors in your home. Tip number two, if you don't like blue undertones, then neither one of these paint colors are gonna be the right one for you. Also, Repose Gray is known as a chameleon. In other words, it will change colors depending on what part of the home you decide to paint this color in. Tip number three, if you have a home that was built in the Tuscan trend era, then chances are you have redwood, you have chocolate brown, oil bronze, or maybe even dark bricks to name a few. I would stay away from these two paint colors. That's a different topic for another time. So if you're interested in knowing a little bit more about these paint colors, feel free to check out the link above me. Repose Gray and Gray Owl are both beautiful paint colors. However, a word of caution, anytime that you're online or maybe you're in a magazine and you see these beautiful pictures of either one of these paint colors, don't let them trick you into painting these colors in your home because it's a lot harder than you may think. And the last thing I want you to do is make a mistake that you'll later regret. So what do you think about these two paint colors? Let me know in the comment section down below. And by the way, if you need help on finding the perfect paint color for your home and you want it professionally done, then feel free to check out the link in the description section down below. I show you how I can help you with any of my online packages, regardless where you live in North America. Until then, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.